Hello friends. So in our previous video, we have seen that how we can set up general settings of CRM module. Now, if you want to uh, set up your sales module in Odoo, so you have these basic configuration available under the sales module. So here in general setting, you have option of sales and uh, in sales, you have product catalog that you can define that either you want to use variants like uh, for example your product may have some attributes like sizes colors so you can manage it from the variants and if you want these variants available on the sale order as a grid view so you can select this variant grid entry here you have unit of measures so, so for example if you are uh, selling and purchasing in different unit of measure of a, a product so you can use this uh, unit of measure option available for you so then we have product packaging so if you sell your product after packing so you can select it here then we have pricing section and now uh, here you can define uh, the discount so for example if you want to manage the discounts on line levels so you can select it here and if you want to give uh, some uh, discounts loyalty and gift card so you can click here and uh, here we have an option of advanced price list so you can uh, use the price list option uh, where you can set multiple prices for the products and you can automate the discounts from the price list here you will also have option of advanced price list where you can define your own formulas so when we will go into our demonstration of sales module we will see that how we can set up price list in Uru. Then we have margin options. So for instance, if you want to uh, see the margins on uh, creating the sales order in Odoo, so you can use this options. Then we have uh, a column for the quotation and the orders. So here uh, you can uh, provide quotation templates. So if you want to manage some templates for the quotation, so you can select it here. And uh, then we have option of uh, lock confirm sales. So once uh, you say that your sales is confirmed no one will be able to edit that sales order so you can use this option and you can check this for the lock confirm sales then if you want to manage some warnings uh, related to the products or to the customer so you can use the sales warning option as well then we have an option of performer invoice so if in your case you want to manage the performer invoice uh, before sending the invoice so you can use this option and you can select this then we have shipping related stuff where we can uh, mention the delivery methods and uh, here we can use in core terms like uh, CNF like CIF so you can use this option here we have some connectors available for enterprise version so you can select these one if you are if you want to use these connectors then we have invoicing so here we if, in this column we can manage the invoicing policy that um, when you will be able to invoice your order uh, so when uh, when when it is ordered or when it is delivered so you can select as per your requirement then we have uh, connectors of Amazon and eBay so if uh, again these are available in enterprise version and you need to buy them so stay tuned with us for more videos. Thank you.